Hey guys, in today's video we will show you how to grind the Merchant Alliance to level 50. Some people don't like to do these voyages and we can't blame them because we don't like to do them ourselves that much. For us this was not so much fun to do but the good news is that the game changed a lot during a year. The only way we could level this was by collecting chickens, pigs and snakes. But now you can level the Merchant Alliance with cargo runs and forts as well. We've been doing forts from the first day and we still do them because we love it. There's a lot of merchant loot now compared with skeleton forts back in the day. So when you complete a fort you get loot like the ancient bone dust and the mega keg, but you also get the normal crates like the tea, sugar, silk and so on. If you have a solid crew or are decent with soloing forts, this is a great way to level up merchant. You can complete forts in 50 minutes and after you completed a fort, the next one will spawn. You get lots of reputation from the bone dust and mega keg, plus you get around uh, 20k gold for every fort you do, so that's also a great way to boost your gold. If you don't like the merchant voyages, we recommend you to do the forts. We already made a guide on how to solo forts easily, so feel free to check it out. The only downside is when other pirates want to do the fort as well, they'll waste your time and make the progress longer. So another way to level up is doing the cargo runs. We think cargo runs are way quicker than collecting the gold and black animals. When you start a cargo run on an outpost, you always need to collect the cargo from the outpost you're on. When you collect all the cargo, the voyage will disappear from your inventory and you can already buy another one. The next location is always close to you, so you don't have to sail around over the whole map. Another trick you can use from the moment you've completed the cargo run is just leave the game and relog to a new server so you spawn on an outpost again. We've been doing this to get some cargo loot for the commendation as a pirate legend and it really speeds up the progress. It's way quicker than sailing to the next island to collect the cargo and then sail to the location to sell it. This way you only have to collect the cargo from the outpost and sail to the location to sell them. Then you just change server again. And like we all know, Devil's Roar is also a great way to get reputation and gold. You can always do cargo runs there as well if you can handle the volcanoes. We just don't recommend it because the volcano will destroy your run bottles most of the time. Of course, if you prefer to collect the animals, look for voyages with the black and golden animals. They will give you some nice rep and gold. So just keep buying voyages till you get these. If you get a voyage with gunpowder, they are also decent with rep and gold. Don't bother doing the voyages that don't have golden or black animals. Just keep in mind you can only buy 3 voyages in a certain time period. But most of the time you'll get at least one good voyage out of those 3. Just relog the game when you have to wait to buy new ones. If you get a voyage where you need to collect a chicken, a pig and a snake, we recommend you to collect the pig as last. When you've caught a pig, they need to eat bananas while you're sailing. If you don't feed them, they'll die and then you'll need to collect new ones. You can find the link below the video with a map to show you what kinds of animals you can find on which island. Also check every shipwreck you see. Sometimes they have good grades on it. Killing megalodons might give you an ancient bone dust, but that's not always the case. Another good way to level up is by collecting the gems from the mermaid statues. You can exchange them in the merchant alliance for gold and rep. Don't forget that the red ones are worth the most. Then the green ones and the blue gems are less worth but the easiest to collect. So we'd recommend you to try to collect them if you're passing by any color of mermaid statue. We hope this video was helpful and it helps you to grind the merchant alliance in a quicker way. 
If you have any tips yourself, feel free to comment below the video and help out our fellow pirates. We also have a Discord server where we try to help people as much as possible, so feel free to join. The link will be below the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Shiver me timbers! Yarr.